It should come as no surprise to Megadeth fans that many a musician have had problems with frontman Dave Mustaine over the years. The legendary thrash metal guitarist doesn't mince his words when it comes to giving his opinion, and he isn't one to shy away from confrontation. With that in mind, let's take a look at some of the rockers who can't stand Dave Mustaine. Slayer's Kerry King joined the newly formed Megadeth as their first ever rhythm guitarist in 1984. However, King would only be able to tolerate Dave Mustaine for five shows before he got so fed up that he quit the band. I don't know how anybody can be in Megadeth for more than a couple of hours, cause that guy's crazy, says King. His departure from Megadeth later evolved into a long-running feud between the two. In 2005, King would say, If you let Mustaine talk long enough, he'll bury himself. He's just a miserable person. His bass player from day one is suing him. I hope he wins. I felt bad for the guy having to put up with him all those years. In the years since, the two have found a way to coexist amicably, with Slayer and Megadeth partnering up for the 2010 American Carnage Tour and later, the Big Four performances. And as far as how he feels about Mustaine today, King would simply say, quote, he was cooler back then, implying that he's still not a fan of the person Mustaine has become over the years. Have you ever seen a tour headlined by a fist fight between two lead singers? Well, that almost happened at the Clash of the Titans tour in 1990. Tourmates Megadeth and Suicidal Tendencies would erupt in a legendary feud that began when Mustaine allegedly tried to kick Suicidal Tendencies off the tour. In the book Louder Than Hell, Mustaine recounts a promotional photo shoot that was to feature every band on the tour, which in addition to Megadeth and Suicidal Tendencies, also featured Slayer and Testament. Ultimately, Suicidal Tendencies lead singer Mike Muir no-showed, which greatly offended Mustaine, who began disparaging ST in the press, calling them unprofessional and undeserving of their spot on the stacked lineup. While on the tour, Muir challenged Mustaine to an onstage fistfight. For his part, Mustaine managed to de-escalate the situation, telling Metal Insider, Muir wanted to fight me. I had to go up to him and say, look dude, if we're going to fight, let's fight after the tour like gentlemen. Fortunately for me, he respected that, because he was a big guy, and he probably would have stamped me pretty good. In 2005, Dave Mustaine would strong-arm festival promoters into kicking satanic metal band Dissection out of Israel's Metalist Festival. Dissection's frontman would break the news, saying, I unfortunately have to inform you about the fact that Dissection have been cancelled from the Metalist Festival in Israel, obviously as a result of Mr. Dave Mustaine of Megadeth not wanting to play with satanic bands. Mustaine, a born-again Christian, told the promoter that he could not and would not play the festival if Dissection was on the bill. While technically, he never explicitly instructed the promoter to kick Dissection out, Megadeth was the headliner, so the promoter had no choice but to give Dissection the boot. Later, Mustaine had a nearly identical feud with the band Rotting Christ when he had them kicked off of two of the band's scheduled gigs in Greece opening for Megadeth. While speaking on the matter on his band's official forums, Mustaine would simply say, The moral of the story is this, I don't like certain bands, and that will never change in me. While on Megadeth's headlining Endgame tour in 2009, Dave Mustaine would once again seek to kick an opening band off the bill. Towards the end of the tour, openers Suicide Silence would make a sudden announcement, stating, Suicide Silence is not allowed to play Reno due to Dave Mustaine's ego kicked off last two days of tour and had laminates removed. This was later confirmed by Suicide Silence drummer Alex Lopez, who tweeted, Dave Mustaine kicked us off of the Megadeth tour because he wanted to take our laminates for a little incident weeks ago, so we told him to F off. This was then followed by yet another, now more aggressive tweet with bassist Dan Kenny stating, I would love to fist fight with Dave Mustaine. I hear he is quite good at MMA. I would triangle him in a second. Suicide Silence vocalist, the legendary Mitch Lucker, would later admit that they were kicked off of the tour because they were sneaking in more guests backstage than they were allowed, saying, Dave thought it was a risk to his dressing room, which it could have been. Some super fan could have gone in there and done God knows what. And the situation went from that to him wanting our laminates back. If you assume that the relationship between Dave Mustaine and Lars Ulrich would improve following their joint therapy session in the 2005 documentary Some Kind of Monster, well, you thought wrong. In the nearly 20 years since the release of the documentary, Mustaine continues to blast Ulrich in the press. Recently, Mustaine would blame Ulrich for the lack of any more Big Four shows, saying, For some reason, Lars is afraid of doing more. Then, when Metallica wanted to re-release their legendary demo No Life to Leather, Mustaine refused, citing the fact that Lars Ulrich wanted to take a percentage of the publishing royalties despite not being a songwriter on that EP. I'm not afraid of Lars Ulrich, and I'm not giving him my percentage, said Mustaine. If James wants to give Lars his percentage, that's fine if he's afraid of him. I'm not afraid of him. 
I'm not giving nothing to Lars Ulrich. And while Metallica has reissued their entire catalog via their record label Black & Recordings, the famous 1982 demo remains absent as Dave Mustaine has stayed true to his word and refuses to approve the release.